Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this lesson of Tinderbox, we're going to do a brief introduction to stamps and action code, and we will be providing more advanced overviews um, in the future. So here you go. So what's a stamp? Um, well, we're going to build on top of our agents and queries um, uh, part two lesson to be able to kind of explain the stamp in this particular file. So a stamp is a way to apply similar to the way we ran our agent and query. So let's go ahead and I look at, uh, I'll go get info here. So you'll see here this agent action where we're changing the color blue. Well, you know, just like we did in part two of the uh, agent and queries um, lesson, we can use the, co the concept of agent actions really throughout many places within Tinderbox. Um, and so with that in mind, let's go ahead and show you how that works. Um, so let's say I'm going to copy this agent color equals blue, and we're going to create a stamp to turn uh, note four back into dark red. Now, first and foremost, this stamp, this agent is continually running. So uh, we want to go ahead and uh, turn off this stamp. And let me show you how to do that, or this agent, sorry. Let me show you how to do that. I can turn on the agent priority simply type negative one and that will stop the agent from running because if the agent continues to run um, then it will be uh, you know constantly changing you know, overwriting my stamp and turning the, the color back to blue um, so let me go ahead and show you how to apply a stamp so we're going to go up to stamps and you'll say uh, first and foremost we can just do what's called a quick stamp and so let's say i want to quickly change the col this color note uh this color this note to color red so i can type in the color so I'm looking for the attribute color and, um, and it will show and show me, show me here that the value right now of color is dark is bright blue. So if I change that value to a red and apply the stamp, it instantaneously changes the color to red. So that's one way to manipulate and manage stamps. Um, the other way to uh, use stamps is to actually create and custom ones. So if I go up to the stamp inspector, so I'm gonna hit select stamp inspector here, and I'm on the document inspector section here, and I click the stamps tab. If I click plus, and we'll say change, change color to Green. It's going to be the name of my stamp, and just like we did in action code uh, when we were running an agent query, um, I can go ahead and say color equals, and remember it's an equivalency sign, so it's not a double equals, it's an equals, equals bright green, All right? And I end all of my um, arguments with the semicolon. So I've just created my first stamp, and so if I go here, you'll see we now have this stamp. So now if I select note number two, and hit apply it now changes color to bright green so the way you the reason why stamps are so valuable is that you can automate uh, a lot of act, actions and activities uh, that you want to do within tinderbox let me show you another way about going about doing that so let's create another stamp and we're going to say type equals other stuff okay and we'll close it out with a semicolon oops uh, you know, I want to change type to other stuff. All right, and so I've got this note. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select multiple notes because I want to I want to change multiple notes all at once. And so if I have I've selected all of these notes and I hit apply this particular stamp, and you'll see now if I go look at the type value. And the type value is now other stuff across the board. So I was able to select multiple notes, change them all at once. Um, now, just like in action, when we were demonstrating in part two, where you can, or part one of the agent query, you can also string uh, together um, uh, stamp actions. So type equals other stuff. And so here we can also go and say color equals, and seven is the, is the number for the default, default color of notes, um, color equals seven. So now what I'm doing is I have a stamp that is the yeah, other stuff Let's change this to just so that that is really fun. So essentially what we've now done is we've said other stuff that is really fun, color equals seven. And now I'm going to select all of the notes, hit apply. They all turn gray. And look, when I go look at all of their uh, their types, it's all other stuff is really fun, is, is in the type section. So essentially what we're now able to do using stamps is we can manipulate one or more attributes and, and change their values very, very quickly. And you can do this with prototypes too. So let me show you one more. 
let's say I go and, and do a built-in prototype like person. So we now have the person prototype. And now I want to go prototype equals person. Okay, put the little semicolon there. And let's change these notes to just people. So Michael Becker, Mark Anderson, and Mark Bernstein. Okay, so we've got three notes that we've now changed to people. Uh, and, and also too, while we're at it, since we're changing these notes to people, let's also change their type to people. And let's go, and we're gonna leave their color as seven. So, and with that in mind, we could just go ahead and delete that because we don't wanna change their color. So now what we're doing is we wanna change these three notes to type people and give them the prototype person. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna select all three of the notes and I'm selecting them all the, um, by holding the shift key down when I do that, hit apply. They're all now person prototypes and they're all color, uh, maintained their color. Now, even though the prototype um, color is green, Tinderbox is smart enough, by the way, because of this concept it's called inheritance that we'll do in other, uh, talk about in, a, in another lesson, where it will not overwrite the value uh, of an attribute in a note um, if um, if that if there already is a value that exists, because we don't want action agents to like destroy our file. So Tinderbox actually has some underlying intelligence there. But you'll see what we were able to do is that we we're able to ch change the type to uh, prototype equals person, and you'll see that their type is all now people as well. So that's how to use stamps. And again, there's so much you can do with stamps. They're really fun, they're really cool, um, and there's a lot of intricate value that comes into play as you're looking to manipulate, manage, and literally transform your notes and, and manage your um, your file. But that's just stamps, um, you know, we'll call that stamps part one, if you will, and we'll build on this later uh, in future lessons. So thank you a lot. Oh, and before I forget, let me show you this. Let's go back and turn our agent back on. So if I go and turn my agent back on, what do you think is going to happen? Remember, we're telling the agent to grab any note that start dates before yesterday to turn it blue. And so that's exactly what's going to happen. So we let the agent run. Um, let's go ahead and update the agent. And voila, all of the notes that have start date uh, greater than um, yesterday turn blue. So that like, shows you the complete circle of the integration of you know, action code being used either with an agent or in this context uh, with a stamp. And then the one last point I want to make about stamps, if, if you will, action code used with agents is constantly running. Action codes used with stamps is a one-time event. And so that, so again, when you're, you know, playing with your action code, it's a really good idea um, to, um, you know, try your action code out with stamps first before you have it automatically work uh, throughout your file.